Howdy partners, welcome back to Super Mario- Super Luigi World 3. Er, what? This is part 3 technically, so let's get on with the Vanilla Dome. And it just feels like this is the same day, same- Well, almost. Cause it's like 11.30, so I was looking at my clock. Oh uh, yeah, 11.31, so it's almost- Almost the next day, almost time for the day that I have to go back to work after having three days off, which hasn't happened in- God, I don't know how long. <clears throat> but it feels really good to just, you know, doing this game, it feels really awesome because it's like, um, it kind of feels like one of my, you know, like with my Hyrule Warriors thing? Where is it? No, oh, it's here somewhere. There is a one up here. There it is. <laughs> Dumbass. But it just feels so, like, relaxed like that, like I can just sit down and play it. Oh yeah, so this would have been a lot more difficult to get. You would need Yoshi here, almost, if we didn't have the red switch already pressed, but I have it pressed, obviously, so... Unfortunately, Yoshi, I'm sorry I have to say goodbye to you. Actually, could we make it up there with him? Yeah, I don't think so. Probably could, probably could find- well, with the blue shells. So that's the exit to go... to the left. Um, so let's just continue on that path, shall we? Actually, no, let's go finish the other exit first, just so we're not, you know, complicating things. But yeah, I just feel so relaxed to just sit down and play this game, it's really nice. And it is gonna be like... Well, this is probably gonna be part three. Oh, shit, no! I was like right on the very last pixel, thinking, oh my god, I didn't actually grab it, but I did. It doesn't really matter because... There's a... I might remember seeing another power up here somewhere. It can stop spinning. Where's my, where's my feather? It's like, I don't have to worry about being too good at this because it's like, well... Honestly, I've played this game so many times in my life that it just... It's one of those things that just, I know. And I was thinking about, like, how I said I didn't know if I was gonna... Remember where all the secret exits are, but to be honest, I think I do... Shit, 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 oh thank god. I think I do know where, um... Where they all are, and might might be just because I just... Went through and got some of the ones that I missed from my previous file. My previous file... Um, it's from like a long ass time ago, like I said, from like last year. This is the last time I played this. And, um... <clears throat> so, I, I don't remember what I did in that file. Um, so I had to go back and just look for the things I missed. It was actually kind of, um, kind of complicated because some of the ones that I missed were actually in the Star World, which... If you... Okay, all... The only way to advance in the Star World is by getting all the secret exits. And then there's a the normal exit, oh shit, what am I doing? Jeez, like, watch what you're doing, man. <clears throat> the normal exits, they don't take you anywhere. So they won't show a new path if you get them or not. So those were, I was missing those, and I was so confused on, like, which ones were I, was I missing? Because it's like, I know I've got another other paths, where, am I, like, what do I do? But it turns out, yeah, it was just some of these uh, Star World zones that I was missing. Thankfully. But yeah, so I can probably gonna be able to get through this no problem without... Having to refresh myself on where the other exits are. I mean, the only things I'm probably gonna have a problem with are some of the star worlds themselves, star levels. Like, God, you know, people always talk about tubular, but funky. That's the one I don't like. The, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the one. That's the water one. I hate that one. I hate the one with those switch lifts. Like I, the on and off switches. God, those suck. Cause that's pretty much all based on luck, unless you can memorize exactly where everything is. I remember the- I remember when I- for, when we first got this game, too. It was, um... I mean, it's not such a vivid memory, but I do remember it quite well. Oh man, I need a cape. Shit. Can I get a cape in here? Probably. <clears throat> to get the secret path. Actually, yes, I do need a cape. But yeah, it was Christmas. It was back when... It was back when this was still fairly new. I was really young. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't scare me like that, man. But I remember it was Christmas, we were at my uncle's house. I swear I, this is my memory, if, like... I feel like since it's, it's like one of those memories where it's so... Like, you remember it, but it's it was so long ago that you feel like it's like, did that even really happen? It's one of those memories. But, um... So what it was, was we were at my uncle's house during Christmas. We got that... We got the Super Nintendo with the... Um... The one that came with, the, with Mario World in it, so it wasn't like its own box version. Which are actually really hard to find, the actual box versions of Mario. Um, man, I'm just looking for a cape, that's what I'm looking for. 
There's gotta be one in, in one of those blocks. Yes, thank god. So that's the way to the normal exit up there. No, don't grab that. Actually, I could use that. Oh god. <laughs> Can we get up that way? That's not the way I was intending to get up, actually. The way I was intending to get up is... A tricky little thing that I learned. Like, I knew this was a thing you could do. But it's been so long that I just forgot. Uh, kick the shell up while you're climbing, it'll automatically grab onto the shell once you get back up there, so... That's cool, I learned that from Impolo in NCS's video. But yeah, Christmas, like I was saying like three million times, I always do that, I know it's really annoying. <clears throat> and we got this, we were sitting at like... It was nighttime, obviously, uh, well, obviously, what does that matter? I'm just, you know, I was talking about what I remember from that night. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we got this in the box, and that... Ugh. It, it, from that point on, it's just this has become, become one of those games that you just you play a million times as a kid. I mean, I know a lot of people, so that just leads to the Star World. Like I said, I'm not going to the Star World yet. So, oh no, we can't go up here yet. We haven't unlocked that area yet. But yeah, that's my memory of first getting into Mario World. I have another memory of it that's um, not as pleasant, shall we say. It's not like anything bad happened. I was, I was, I was also quite young, actually. I don't know how young I was. I was probably... And five, six. Yeah, it was definitely a long time ago because my parents were still together. Oh crap, my computer's dying. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, so it was back when my parents were still together, so it must have been at least. Wow, that was a, that was a long time. I can't believe it was that long ago because they split up in like 2005? 2006, maybe? I think it was 2006. And we went. Um, I remember I was playing this game like a lot leading up to this point. Um, we were going camping, and it was like some family thing that I really didn't like. Shit, I'm not gonna make that properly. I'm gonna hit, get hit. I could go up and grab another feather, but... I just don't wanna take the hit. Yeah, fuck, I'm gonna take the hit. <laughs> you gotta be really precise with that. With where you... when you start jumping, so... I do not remember where this leads. But yeah, I was just... I really didn't wanna go camping. What's down there, though? Screw it. <laughs> I didn't want to go. I remember I just I just beat the game again, and oh my god, <laughs> Jesus Christ! And I got to the alternate world, which I'm in right now. And I remember it was super early in the morning when I was playing. And I was like, I just want to keep playing, man. And we had to go camping. My mom was really mad because I didn't want to go. Because like I like I've said in the last episode, you know, I don't really I don't really like hanging out with family a lot. Is mostly because I was like super shy as a kid. But yeah, so that was a thing. So my mom was always mad at me about that sort of stuff. Like, not like she wouldn't be holding grudges all the time, she'd just be really annoyed with me. Which I understand, because like, jeez. Oh, shit. Yo- <laughs> That was a- Oh! <laughs> I could've made it, I could've grabbed him. I go for one, I try to go for Yoshi, ditching my feather, and I lost both. You know, can't have one thing, you can't have everything. I'm getting nervous here now. I wasn't paying attention to like, how I was playing, I was just paying attention to how I was talking and just playing, but now it's getting kind of scary. Now I'm not focusing on what I'm saying, and now it sounds even worse than it normally does, and it's just... Oh. Come on, just grab it. <coughs> yeah. Oh god, I just could have sworn I was going to take the hit there, like I did there. I think you can go down one of those pipes, but I'll be damned if I'm going to be trying. I'm going to get through the level, Spiny, get out of my way. Oh, there's a... Oh, no. There is a point in this level where... You can hit a P-switch and turn the spines into silver coins. God, that's scary. Get out of here. Oh, of course! Of course, he says. <laughs> no, that won't... If I slide down there, it won't kill him, will it? Oh my god, why would you do that? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, don't you throw it into the spiny pit! Is that... That's not worth... Oh, there we go. Oh, don't grab it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Dumbass! I didn't even jump fast enough there. Oh, don't split! I knew it was gonna split. I saw that. Oh my god. That was a terrifying level if I do say so myself. I don't know why. I've never had that much trouble with that before. I mean, I didn't die, but still. But yeah, so I, <laughs> I didn't want to go camping, so my mom was mad at me. I, kept, I remember all the way up there, too. Like, it was early in the morning, we went to Subway. And I was just thinking about playing Mario. That's all I want to do is play Mario. 
I have a lot of s memories like that where I just want to go home and play games. I'm trying to get the window, the item window right on the box that didn't work there. So we got the obligatory, well not the obligatory. This is a fairly new thing in this game it was new. The dolphin levels. Thank god there's only a few of these. I mean it's cool, they're fun. But once you see those porky spikes, they get kind of scary. The porky puffers. And I do want to grab that, if I could. No! Yeah, because once you get in here, you're f almost fucked! Fuck! <laughs> I couldn't get out! Oh, dumbass, man. I keep saying dumbass. I've been watching too much of that 70 show, that's what it is. And I was playing with the analog stick. I wanted to play- I don't like playing this game with the analog stick. I want to play with the- The D-pad. Get on the goddamn dolphin. Shit. Get on the dolphins! If you have Yoshi here, it's so much better. This is so cool, though. Imagine be, like doing this in real life. I wasn't even on there. Did you see that? Look at that. I'm not even on there. On the dolphin's face. But yeah, sometimes it can be trouble getting in the pipe, because you're getting dolphined. I love those guys. I want to make those guys out of pearlers. I was actually thinking about that the other day. I did make one of the pumpkin... The pumpkin, uh... The jumping pumpkin guys. Just because it's Halloween, so tis the season, you know. But I want to make one of the dolphins because they're cool. I like their goggles. It's a cool touch. Okay, no. No. Eleanor. There we go. Sounds like I'm saying like a weird pronunciation of Eleanor. Eleanor. Oh, Eleanor. I've missed you so, my dear. Oh, wait. You're an idiot, man. <laughs> I, you know, I've never actually, actually minded this level too much, but I do remember playing it a lot. I don't know why. Maybe it's because... Well, what it is with this game is like... The game isn't that hard. There are lots of parts where it's really challenging, really tricky. Oh, there's gonna be a Resnor in this place, man. I do not want to fight a Resnor small. But I just go through it too fast, and when I die, I get, like, aggravated, so I, like, okay, and I just try and rush back to the part that I died at, end up dying again, and that's my problem. I'm not gonna run it that way. Screw it. Dry bones. I wanna make a dry bones, too. Yeah, I've been getting back into making pearler things again, because I used to do it years ago. And I know, like, if you watch my videos, you know how much, you know, how awesome I think Nintendo Capri Sun is, and I know that he does them too. But honestly, I started doing pearler- <laughs> I'm not gonna be, like, one of those guys. No. I did it before, it was cool. No, I actually started doing them before I even knew who he was, before I ever got into Let's Plays, because he's the one who made me find Let's Plays interesting. But yeah, so I started doing those a couple years ago. Had so much fun, I made so many things. I actually just recently put a bunch of them up on my wall. My favorite one so far is my, um, shit. I made Stink Chameleon, and it's so awesome. I can see it right now. <clears throat> that's the biggest one I made, actually. Actually, no, that's not true. The biggest one I made, I need to continue making it, because I need to fix it. What it, I did the, the Runaway 5 bus, and I screwed up so bad. When I made that, and I screwed it up, it was the worst day ever. Because I was having a bad day already. But I don't know. I, I screwed it up. Because it's so big, right? So you have to be really careful with how you're ironing it. And I screwed it up. The pieces didn't all go together. Pieces fell off. Pieces are broken off. So now I have to find some way to fix it. It's just... When I did break it, to, though, like... When it didn't come out properly, I had, like, a breakdown. It was so weird. Because, I mean... Well... You know, I, I don't really want to get into that sort of thing. It's just not one of those things you talk openly about while let's playing, I guess. But I don't know. It just was one of those depressing things in the world. It felt like it's one of those things that just sets you off. You know, like you have all this stuff bottled up inside, and you finally, you know, and that's just it's that one small thing. I mean, of course that wasn't small because I spent like four hours making the thing. But it is, I mean, I guess you could say it's still like not, you know, life changingly bad if something happens like that. But, you know, it was really bad. Is that one thing that set me off, you know? And I just... I lost it. Like, I don't know. And it, I know it wasn't because I screwed that up that I got so upset. But it was because... You know, like I said, it was the one thing that set me off. And it really sucked. And I went back to it the other day to try and, like, see if I could fix it. Because I, I, after that happened, I just left it alone. I was ironing it in my kitchen. And... After it screwed up, I just left it there for, like, weeks. <clears throat> I didn't touch it because I didn't want to go back to that to be upset again and just have that reminder of like what happened and then reminder not because like it would remind me of me screwing that up it's just a reminder of everything like how that was the breaking point for me for all this other stuff that was on my mind 
I know I said I didn't want to get into that stuff, and here I go talking about it. <laughs> Juggling! <laughs> and we got our, yeah, auto-scroller, I should have mentioned that earlier. But hey, we're already there. That green star switch, or that block that I just passed, you have to have like a certain amount of coins, and if you hit it, it'll either be a coin, but if you have the, certain, the correct amount of coins collected throughout the level, then you'll get um, a 1-up from it, so it's not that big of a deal. I, I did skip one earlier, too. 